Hello, I hope everyone is doing well. Today I'm going to just quickly show you where to find data for small scale mapping. Um, in my previous video, we talked about uh, OSM data, and uh, OSM data is best for large scale mapping, right? So when you're zoomed in really close to a town or a neighborhood. And the data that I'm going to show you today is when you're zoomed way out if you're doing world mapping or continental mapping or something like North America or regional mapping. As you see, you're going to want to possibly use some of this data from Natural Earth. So here's the Natural Earth dead, uh, website, um, and you know you guys can take a look at it to become familiar with it. Um, they have physical features and cultural themes, meaning they have countries and places and populated places and urban polygons and parks and protected area. And if you look here, this these 10, 50, and 110 refer to the scales that they the data best fits. So there's 1 to 10 million, 1 to 50 million, and 1 to 110 million scales, right? So this is like global, and then this is maybe like regional, like North America or something like that. Right now their website is down. Um, so what you can do is explore the website, find the data that you want, look at the actual name of the file, and then go to the server that they have and download it. So right now it's like a two-step process. So this data here is what I've been using for some of my shaded relief. So when you want that sort of look behind, you know, let's say you wanted a map um, shows to so show some of the shaded relief of North America or a region of the U.S. Not really ideal for an, a state. If you're going to do a state like New Jersey or something, you would probably want to be using the digital elevation model, which is 30 meter resolution. Um, so what you have to do now is you have to go to this website. So you'll have to know the name of the file that you're looking for. So basically that's not too difficult. You have to just go to this site. You're interested in this natural earth shaded relief at 1 to 10 million. You click on it. And then when you do the download, you can actually see, depending on what browser you're using, but I can see it's called NE1HRLC. So if I just press download, I don't think it's going to do anything right now. Actually, it, it is, seems to be working again. So if it is working again, then um, you know you can pick your data set that you want, download it. If it's not working, see they says downloads on the server are broken in the meantime. You can go to this uh, server here on GitHub. And this one, you know, you basically then just click these links. But you have to know which file you're looking for. So, for example, these are your shaded relief maps here. So, I just downloaded this NE1HR, and you can probably find it here. NE1HRLC, yeah, it's right here. So, either way, if the, if the website's working, then go ahead and download from there. And if it's not, then you would uh, have to use that link at the top of the page. So, let me download one other data set. And then we'll just take a look at it. So this is a 1 to 10 million country file. I'll go ahead and download that. And then um, I'll open QGIS and we'll look at these files. Okay, I'm back. And just so you know, I had these two, this file and this file were downloaded. And um, what I did then is brought them in. I um, brought them into uh, a folder called Natural Earth. So I still need to just unzip them really quick here. So here's my folder, and we'll just go ahead and extract these. And we'll extract this one. And then we will go to this folder. So here's um, the countries file, and then we have a, I'm not exactly 100% sure yet, some sort of shaded relief. So we'll put our countries on top of that, and then we make this uh, have no brush. Then we all of a sudden have the file. And you can see why it's not really good if you get 
you know, if you're doing close scale mapping, because that's what it looks like. It looks pixelated like that. That's not just the computer not zooming in, it just actually looks pixelated. So that's why it's better for like regional mapping, as you can see. So the other thing to keep in mind here is that when you're using this type of data, you're obviously going to want to, it comes as an unprojected, just in the geographic coordinate system. So you're going to want to put it in some sort of geographic system because if you know for example if you look at North America this is how you know it's not projected it looks flat so if we go to properties and again this is an on-the-fly change and then we change it to um, maybe an equal area so here's a US contiguous equal, equal distance conic so let's say we're getting ready to just map the United States and then we could go ahead and you can see how different that looks 